Good afternoon. Please remain standing for the presentation of colors and the singing of the national anthem. Please remain standing until the color guard has retired from the main floor. I pledge allegiance to the flag, the United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now you may be seated. I would like to introduce our principal, Mr. Adrian Ocampo. Good afternoon and welcome esteemed guests, parents, guardians, faculty, and of course graduates to the 2019 commencement ceremony. I am Adrian Ocampo, the proud principal of Port St. Lucie High School. It is my privilege to introduce our special guests. Mrs. Debbie Hawley, chairperson of the school board. <laughs> Mrs. Catherine Hensley, vice chairperson of the school board. Dr. Donna Mills, school board member. Mr. Troy Ingersoll, school board member representing District 5. Mrs. Carol A. Hilson, school board member representing District 2. Mr. E. Wayne Gent, superintendent of St. Lucie Schools. Dr. Jonathan Prince, deputy superintendent. Dr. Helen Wild, Chief Academic Officer. Dr. Kevin G. Perry, Assistant to the Superintendent. Dr. Myrna Belgraves, Assistant Principal. Mrs. Louise Sage, Assistant Principal. Mrs. Jen Ingersoll, Principal of Lawnwood Elementary and Ms. Sabrina Douglas, Senior Class President. At this time, I invite Superintendent Gent to the podium to address the class of 2019. Sir. Good afternoon, everyone. At the completion of this ceremony, we will have graduated over 3,000 young men and young women from St. Lucie Public Schools. There are 67 counties in the state of Florida, our graduation rate is around 97% and we are in the top 10 and the tops on the Treasure Coast in graduation rate. 
Our graduates this year will have earned over $25 million in academic scholarships. They'll be attending some of the most prestigious colleges and universities in our nation and right here in the state of Florida. Several of our students will go directly to the world of work, armed with industry certifications that will allow them to come in with competitive salaries immediately. Before the ceremony this uh, afternoon, you may have seen a group of students that were up front, the largest group from any of our high schools. They received what's called a Promise is a Promise diploma, which means that they're going to be teachers, and upon successfully completing college, they have a job waiting for them right here, guaranteed in St. Lucie County Public Schools as a teacher. And they're going to be able, thanks to the voters, 66% with a yes vote to pay our teachers competitive wages to make sure we've got a school resource officer on every campus and to increase mental health services. So thank you to our community. I want to say special recognition and give special recognition to the young men and young women that will be going into the armed forces to protect our country. Would you please join me in congratulating them? These young men and young women will be serving our nation, protecting our democracy, protecting us at home and abroad. And the key word there is service to others. So Jaguars, if you want to be healthy the rest of your life, you want to stay fit, let me leave you with a quote from John Holmes. There's no exercise better for the heart than reaching down and lifting someone up. Congratulations, Jaguars. Thank you, Mr. Gent. It is my pleasure to recognize students who are our class officers and 2019 honor graduates. Students, when I call your name, please stand. Senior President, Sabrina Douglas. Senior Vice President, Armani Artavia. Secretary, Kareem Wildman. Treasurer, Tina Ramjit. Class Valedictorian, Marissa Garcia. Class Salutatorian, Aileen Romo. Our well-balanced Jaguars manage academics, activities, and of course their social life, and still have excelled academically over the last four years. I would like to recognize our seniors whose academics have been extraordinary. Students, please stand if you are graduating with a 3.0 GPA or higher and are graduating with honors. Thank you for your hard work and devotion to academics. Students, please stand if you're graduating with a 3.8 GPA or higher and are graduating with high honors. We honor, we honor your outstanding efforts and determination to excel day in and day out. And finally, if you're graduating with a 4.0 or higher, please remain standing while others be seated. <laughs> Audience, join me in applauding these students have a, that have achieved perfection. Thank you. And last, but certainly not least, students who are in the top 10 of your class, please stand. Congratulations and becoming the elite Jaguars of the 2019 graduating class. The students who just stood must be recognized for their outstanding academic efforts. However, as we gather here this afternoon for our 2019 commencement, we also honor the 437 students who have achieved their goal of a high school diploma. All of our graduating seniors have achieved so much and each have a story to tell of perseverance, tenacity, and resilience. Your Jaguar journey began with a tradition that was started several years ago with a picture of each eighth grader, soon to be freshman, wearing a graduation gown. At that time, the gown looked big, out of place, and uncomfortable. Here you are, four years later, looking the part and confident in your gown. Personally, this has been a special class. You had just completed your freshman year at Port St. Lucie when I arrived. More so than any other class, you advocated for the best possible high school experience. I explained to you during our first sophomore assembly that, it, that I could not do it alone. I needed everybody to do their part. 
I needed you. It was this class that embraced my vision more than any other. This class that did not accept mediocrity, but demanded that we reach for the academic levels that many thought were unreachable. You worked with me ensuring that we built something positive. You made your presence known with your energetic and candid personalities. You have made your mark on the school and raised the bar academically for other classes to aspire to reach. I thank you for inspiring me and pushing me to meet, meet my goals. Another characteristic of our senior class is participation in community service. As a group, they have accumulated over 20,000 hours of service. Our top volunteer, Damon Cabrera, earned a total of 1,200 volunteer hours. Naomi Okendo earned 704. And Daniel Jean Baptiste earned 626. We appreciate all the hard work that you have done and will continue to do to aid our community. Thank you. Our senior class produce future teachers. They have all entered into the Promises of Promise agreement with our school district, and I'm personally recruiting them now to stay Jaguars. Future educators, please stand. We also have a large group of students who will be entering the military. As a former Marine who got on a bus to Paris Island years ago, these students are close to my heart. Those students who have committed to enlist in the military, please stand. As we all know, the financial burden of a college education can be staggering. Our 2019 seniors have accumulated over five million in college scholarships which include HBCU scholarships in the amount of $1.5 million. A select group of students have met their academic requirements to receive an international baccalaureate diploma, and these requirements are difficult. We have five students who have completed those requirements. Please stand as I call your name. Anna Marie Brew, a Brew. Mary Glickus. Cheryl Martinez. Belinda Ortega, and Freedom Skulls. You truly are hardworking, dedicated students who by completing this program are very well prepared for college and success at the next level is all but virtually guaranteed. Thank you. This year, we have 31 students who have completed their AA degree at IRSC. These students are focused and dedicated and save their parents a lot of money. Students that have earned your AA, please stand. I'm also very proud to report we have three young Floridian scholarship winners. Mateo Restrepo was a district winner for art, Andre Fernandez for journalism and communication, and Freedom Skulls for social studies. Our seniors in various types of band and color guard have earned many superiors, which could not have been done without our time, the time the band parents have devoted to the program, so thank you. This is our second year in our chorus program under the direction of Devon Hagens. Thank you to our seniors who joined the chorus as juniors and quickly moved the program from its infancy, infancy stage to what you saw this evening. Talented individuals are at every turn at Port St. Lucie High School. The enthusiasm, leadership, and confidence our drama seniors possess is evident, but will carry on in future theater productions. Over this past year, seniors have been a part of Beauty and the Beast. Equally inspiring is our dance program, which showcased our next level talent. This year's senior dancers inspired us all in the production of If Broadway Could Dance. There you go, give them a round of applause. Lastly, athletically, seeing our seniors sign commitment letters is motivating. 
Our athletes excel athletically and academically. When I call your name, please stand. Arlen Honor, Heidelberg University Football. Michael LeBoy, Warner University. DeAndre McFadden, Jacksonville University. Donald Rutledge, Jacksonville University. Jihad Thomas, Adrian College. Montavious Yerby, Heidelberg University. Stephen Cantillo, Lake Sumter State College. Eric Gonzalez, Montreal College. Omar Guerrero, ASA College, Miami. Ziggy Thomas, University of South Carolina, Aiken. Fletcher Wonderlick, Florida State University. And Daniel King, Susquehanna, Susquehanna University. Congratulations. Hearing the list of accomplishments of our seniors is awe-inspiring. The one thing that stood out more than anything about our group is this, the students and their diverse talent, skills, and the confidence in which they carry themselves. Students carry themselves in this manner, whether on the athletic field, in auto shop class, on stage performing, at school functions, at IRSC college, and all the while, for many of them, holding down full-time jobs. It has been my honor and privilege getting to know them and their Jaguar spirit. Keep that same spirit you had, which was evident at events like Jag Challenge and Homecoming. As you know, the class of 2019 will always be a part of our Jaguar family. Once again, it is my pleasure to reintroduce Sabrina Douglas. <laughs> Sabrina is a, is a class of 2019 senior class president. During her time at Port St. Lucie High School, she has been involved in National Honor Society, Spanish National Honor Society, Kindness Club, member of the girls varsity weightlifting, track and field, and dual enrollment while maintaining a weighted GPA of 4.34. She will be attending the University of North Florida and plans to major in political science. Welcome Sabrina Douglas. <laughs> Greetings students, parents, honorary guests, and faculty and staff to the class of 2019's graduation ceremony. You cheer. <laughs> I would like to take this moment to thank you all for providing me with the privilege of being your senior class president, as well as to thank my fellow officers for allowing these feelings of family and unity to even transpire on our campus. Thank you, Armani Artavia. Kareem Wildman, and Tina Ramjet, as, <laughs> as well as our class ambassador, Summer Andrews. It truly was an honor to be able to serve as a class officer for the past three years and to witness the growth and accomplishments made by each student before me. My favorite memory would have to be homecoming week. It truly was an honor to witness all of you coming forth and leaving a piece of your very own legacy on our class banner made by fellow classmates. As students filed into Ms. Sheffield's office to sign their name away, it reminded me, wow, this banner may not last forever, but I can definitely say that our lessons and friendships definitely will stay with us. This home we have created has given us a sense of identity, given us the confidence needed to be successful while we are here, as well as the support needed when cramming for midterms or procrastinating on an assignment due the following day, or otherwise at our worst. Port St. Lucie High has been our home for the past four years, but very soon we will be leaving. And we will have to introduce ourselves as someone completely different from who we have been for the past four years. As we graduate, how will you introduce yourself? More importantly, I think, is how would you want to introduce yourself? For the past four years, we've introduced ourselves to our classmates based on what academic courses we were involved in, or clubs or activities we partook in, or even sports we excelled in. But after four years of interacting with this class, I know that you were a group of exceptionally talented individuals that will no doubt become award-winning researchers or doctors, CEOs of corporations, or professional athletes. But in all of this, I urge you to remember your roots, 
to your Jaguar roots and bring forth the kindness that you have shown at your home, Hoy St. Lucie High, to the community foremost. Thank you and congratulations, class of 2019. We did that. <laughs> Thank you, Sabrina. Now it is my honor to introduce Aileen Romo. Aileen is graduating with her high school diploma as well as her AA degree from IRSC. She has earned a weighted GPA of 5.3588. She will be continuing her education in hopes of earning her bachelor's degree at Florida International University, majoring in biological science on a pre-med track. She has been actively involved in National Honor Society as a treasurer, academic A-team, and has earned certifications in Photoshop, Illustrator, and Serve Safe. Please welcome Eileen Romo. I have to stand on my tippy toes, give me a sec. Um, welcome and hello fellow graduates, faculty, um, family members and distinguished guests. I'm Aileen Romo and I am your salutatorian. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> um, I would first like to say congratulations to my fellow classmates for making it here. We did it. We have been waiting for this moment for a long time. Right parents? I know my parents are somewhere. <laughs> Senior year has been quite hectic for me, and I'm sure it has been hectic for you as well. But here we are, taking the final steps to a new path, one that will lead us in various directions. All of the trials and tribulations we have gone through during our high school years have been for this moment. This moment where we can proudly sit here with our family members, friends, and all the people we care about watching us as we walk this stage and accept our diplomas. This is the time for you to be proud, regardless if you passed high school with good grades or just there. <laughs> you made it, and that is exactly what counts. I love my high school years. I have made incredible friends who have helped me keep my spirits up when I felt sad or depressed or stressed. I know if it wasn't for my friends, Angel and Emily, I would be a mess. I'm sure you have people like that for you as well. They're your support systems. They make you laugh when you feel down and give you the motivation to keep going when you feel that you can't. I hope you stay with those people and you continue to help each other grow um, as you move on to the next stage of your lives, even if you're not together or near each other. Before I go, I would like to say thank you to, again to all the faculty, family members, and friends who helped us reach this moment. I'm grateful um, that when times got, to, oh, I would also like to thank my family who helped me reach this moment. <laughs> wow. <laughs> for, for, to my mom, I'm grateful that when things got tough, you were still there for me and help me push through. So without you, I wouldn't be the person I am today. Everything that I have done has been to make you proud. And then, thank you and I love you, mom. <laughs> Congratulations again, everybody. And thank you for listening. Have a good evening, rest of you. Wait right here, wait right here. Thank you, Aileen. I present this gift to you in recognition of your achievements as salutatorian. You are truly an academic Jaguar. Oh. Oh, thank you. It is my honor to introduce Marissa Garcia, class of 2019 valedictorian. Marissa is graduating with her high school diploma as well as her Associates of Arts degree from Indian River State College and earned a weighted GPA of 5.5755.
She has been a member of the varsity volleyball team and has served on the national as well as the Spanish honor societies. She's also a member of the Phi Theta Kappa at IRSC. Also notable and indeed remarkable, Marissa accomplished all of this as a student in the Migrant Education Program and is the first student in Port St. Lucie High School to become valedictorian from the St. Lucie County Migrant Program. Marissa will be continuing her education at the University of Florida, pursuing her degree in psychology and pre-med. Please welcome Marissa Garcia. Okay, I promised myself I wouldn't cry, so. Good afternoon, parents, students, family members, faculty members, and honored guests. The moment we have all been dreaming for has finally arrived. I want to first say congratulations to each and every one of you for all your achievements that you have achieved thus far. It took great strength and determination from within that got us to be here today. These past four years have been quite an interesting road filled with laughter, tears, and a whole lot of stress. As we approach a new chapter in our life full of responsibilities that none of us are quite ready yet, the fight must never stop. What I mean by this is never stop believing in yourself so yet you may accomplish your goals. Such a cliche, but nevertheless the truth. Our goals are our pathway to our future. If you can dream it, you can do it, and if you can do it, exceed your expectations. But do not be discouraged if things do not go as planned. There will be moments where you feel like you can't accomplish your goals, when you will feel like you are in over your head. I, for one, can say that I have had those days. I have been defeated over and overwhelmed to the point where I have cried, more so than I'd like to admit, but I never gave up. You are your own motivators. None of us would be here today if it, not, if it were not for our self-confidence. Do not dwell on the past. Focus on the present because the future does not hold any guarantees. As we leave Port St. Lucie High School and embark a new journey, just remember that the world is our drawing board. Chase your dreams and never second guess yourself. We do not know where we are going to end up in life, but with all the opportunities that there are on the road, find the one that best fits you. Some of us may go into the workforce, some may continue to go to school, and some may enter the armed forces. It is okay to be uncertain, but no matter what, do what makes you feel happy and never compare your decisions with the decisions of others. Some fond, fond memories that will always remind us of Port St. Lucie High School are hitching a ride on the golf cart, on, with, on the golf cart with Coach Williams, Mr. Gill playing the guitar in class, Ms. Ford's famous saying, don't take my kindness for a weakness, and going to the in-school events to get out of class. We've all done that once at least, or thought of it. I also want to thank all the teachers, administrators, friends, and family that helped us along the way. But I especially want to thank my parents for their continuous support. Not once have they let me down, and even after driving them crazy with all of my schoolwork and activities. As we celebrate our final moments as a class, I want to thank you all for making these past four years memorable. Your spirit as a class and as individuals is what made the class of 2019 the class to remember. Thank you, Jax, and congratulations again. Thank you, Marissa. I present this gift to you in recognition of your achievements as valedictorian. You are truly an academic Jaguar. Superintendent Gent, please join me at the podium. Sir, I present to you the Port St. Lucie High School graduating class of 2019. I certify that they have met the graduation requirements of the School Board of the St. Lucie Public Schools and the State of Florida. Principal Ocampo, I accept the graduating class of Port St. Lucie High School. You may now give them their diplomas. Superintendent Jen, members of the school board and guests, please assemble to recognize our graduates with the first line, please rise.
Marissa Garcia. Aileen Romo. Grace Kukelka. Brianna Pierre. Ava Ingasal. Jaden Santoro. Tina Ramjet. Megan Luyao. Isa Alvarez. Sabrina Douglas. Armani Artavia. Kareem Wildman. Anari Abreu. Marie Glycus. Cheryl Martinez. Belinda Ortega. Freedom Scholes. Kevin Ambandondlo. Brian Abichet. Amanda Abrego. Ciara Akinbrack. Leslie Ajpaka Salzara. Francisco Ajukum. Gregoria Ajukum. Destiny Unique Alexander. Mariah Allen. Brianna Alvarez. Demita Alvarez. Kayla Alvarez. Gina Amato. Anya Anderson. Jeanette Anderson. Genesis Andino Nazario. Summer Andrews. Vanirtiz Arilano Antialo. Aparicio Vladimir. Migdalia Aponte. Reza Asim. Jamari Atkinson. Tyler Austin. Linda Avalanita. Anthony Bacon. Ivana Badillo. Roxine Baker. Timothy Bannon. Allison Campos. Eric Bijarano. Bianca Bienami. Savannah Brooks. Regina Medites. Jokaya Bennett. Richard Benoit. Leannis Benancourt. Robert Bentecourt. Jahari Bethia. Isaiah Billingsley. Trey Bingham. Arlette Biasca. Angel Blake. Brandon Angel Blake. Gabrielle Bowser. Aaliyah Brand. Micaiah Brown. Wrighton Brown. Ethan Bruce. Stephanie Brumlup. Sierra Bruno. Cora Bryant. Fernando Bully. Riley Burgess. Damon Cabrera. Eduardo Carbajal. Noah Anthony Camden. Stephen Cantillo. Sophia Carbon. Elias Cardenas. Cameron Cardona. Haley Carlin. Tatiana Casanovas. Nadia Castano. David Castellanos Hurst. Yara Sedino. Carly Seglio. Jonathan Cervantes. Kimberly Cervantes. Alexandra Chisholm. Courtney Clifford. LaKayla Cobbs. Brittany Colette. Cedric Collins. Blanca Nieves Compton. Grayson Costello. Vincent Catrone. 
Veronica Creech, Permasia Crockett, Destiny Cuevas, Rosaline David, Tristan Antonio Damas, Kelsey Cuevas, Eliza Cruz, Nathan Davila, Nicholas Davila, Destiny Davis, Jesse Anthony Del Capio, Daniel Delaney, Rhea Damaris, Jane Diebold, Jordan Dorsonville, Tatiana Dunbar, Cameron Dunn, Ashley Edme, Nordine Elliott, Michael Elvidge, Morgan Emerson, Emiliano Estrada, Tyler Faz, Jessica Farias, Johan Felisanio Alvarez, Anthony Fiola, Christopher Ferguson, Lizette Fernandez Gill, Andre Fernandez, Jillian Fiddler, Eliza Fiengo, Kiara Figueroa, Hayden Fisk, Jane Fitzpatrick, Anna Ford, Franklin Fortin Castro, Dakota Foster, Michaela Foucault, Lynn Fox, Jaden Francis, Tasha Franklin, Caitlin Frazier, Peyton Friels, Alanis Frost, Eric Gamez, Amado Garcia, Christopher Garcia, Crystal Garcia, Neka Gordon, Matthew Gentile, Amber Gerlach, Ty Gibson, Jonathan Golden, Eric Gonzalez, Courtney Gray, Christian Griffin, Sawyer Griffin, Ashley Governor, Jasmine Groven, Omar Guerrero, Saray Guerrero, Noah Gorevez, Ronald Keeson, Lexus Guthrie, Kevin Hagler, Christina Hamblin, Malachi Hamilton, Victoria Hamilton, Jasmine Hanna, Alicia Hardy, Brianna Harris, Sarah Hayward, Marissa Heaton, Tyler Hedrick, Matthew Hensley, Richard Henson, Austin Him, Danielle Jean Baptiste, Jalissa Hines, James Holland, Arlan Honore, James Hopper, Conley Hopper, Rodley Huey, Jonathan Humphrey, Roxanne Hurley, Olivia Jackson, Samaya Jackson, Kyle James, Wadley Jean, Wilson Jean, Alan Ives, Famisha Jean Francois, Kavishna Jesuraja, Antoinette Johnson, Tajay Johnson, Michael Johnston, Andrea Jones, Noah Jones, Jason Joseph, Destiny Hurst, 
Misan Jackson, Madeja Jocelyn, Jitantelli Jugendero, Brandon Camara, Angel Kenny, Danielle King, Nicholas Klang, Robbie Kumar, Shade Christoforsky, Sarah Christartnark, Solil Kaldlika, Ang Ka, Michael Laboy, Josephine Lacan, Kyle Lamont, Melanie Larenquent, Anthony Lasala, Hansley Leaguer, Zachary Loach, Gabrielle Lombardi, Carrie Luke, Yasmin Luviano Aguirre, David Medias, Joshua Manso, Bryce Lee Martinez Lopez, Gary Maradiago, Ricardo Maradiaga, Matali Morocco, Chloe Massey, Laurie Mathias, Christopher Matos, Timothy McElrath, DeAndre McFadden, Jasani McKinney, Hamilton McMillan, Octavia Metiris, Jordan Miller, Emily Miller, Brendan Mimna, Brandon Miner, Rochelle Molina, Sydney Moore, Mercedes Moradell, Jennifer Muniz, Carlos Munoz, Alexander Montiano, Ashley Murphy, Carly Murray, Emily Murray, Marco Nada Milian, Brianna Naylor, Emmanuel Noel, Mikael Noel, Bryce Nolan, Giovanni Nonombre, Kishan Sharwood Norwood, Jonathan Nunez, Sean Nunez, Silvana Nunez, Solani Nunez Cruz, Evan O'Brien, L. O'Connor, Eduardo Ocampo, Ray Ochoa, Naomi Rodriguez, Daniel Orozco, Angel Ortiz, Cynthia Ortiz Oyola, Quinn Oslega, Emily Page, Maricelis Pantoja, Randy Pantoja, Graciela Prado, Joseph Patterson, Veronica Patty, Michael Procora, Luis Proguero, Angelica Pina, Clayton Pissarro, Robert Portales, Brittany Perdue, Joshua Profeno, Robbie Pruitt, Autumn Puccino, Dana Ramirez Gamboa, Caleb Rappaport, Emily Reeves, Jesse Reed, Catherine Reed, Matthew Reed, Jonathan Resendez Torres, Mateo Gomez, Moesha Ravange, Dario Reyes Perez, Juliano Ribeiro, Cole Ricard, 
Ianalise Desardin, Jardet Rickard, Alexis Ronaldo, Isabella Rios, Andrew Risi, William Rivas, Aiden Rivera, Alejandro Rivera, Brittany Rizzo, Adriana Roberts, Jared Roberts, Sean Robinson, Tiffany Robinson, Eluvita Roblero Santizo, Mafaldo Rodriguez, Dylan Rodriguez, Sebastian Rodriguez, Mia Rogers, Veridiana Rojas, Cali Romano, Nicholas Romano, Ryan Romanowski, Kayla Romstadt, Melissa Arroyo, Brandon Rumpf, Ariana Russell, Donald Rutledge, Jared Salzburg, Elisa Santa Maria, Derek Sapp, Annabelle Sasso, Jocelyn Sosida, Shelby Schaefer, Dexter Shuck, Emily Schwartz, Lorena Sensoy, Caden Centers, Alejandro Sepulveda, Daphne Sheets, Cody Sidebottom, Lucia Silva, Nathalia Silva, Ken Gary Simeon, Rochelle Simmons, Monaco Sims, Ariana Smith, Brianna Smith, Marquia Smith, Nicholas Smith, James Smolsky, Mackenzie St. John, Violet Saran, Elena Stanford, Ryan Steele, Mackenzie Strauss, Nicholas Suarez, Brianna Sugrim, Molly Sullivan, Mia Swift, Jonathan Taylor, Angelica Tyrion, Jihad Thomas, Karen Thomas, Matthew Thomas, Anwaja Thomas, Otino Thomas, Giovanni Torado, Sarah Todd, Sierra Tomblin, Trum Tong, Joyce Torres, Kane Tupin, Tariq Townsend, Duck Tran, William Tynan, Jericho Yu, Daniel Val Roman, Emanuela Tranquil, Yandel Roman, Kieron Vickers, Angel Vo, Christina Wagner, Brandon Walker, Cherokee Warmoth, Jessica Waltler, Karma Weber, Kaylee Working, Daniela Wirt, Julia Weatherall, Chandler Whiteside, LeSean Hall, Michael Williams, Sadie Williams, Snyder Williams, Brandon Wilson, Seth Wingate Stegers, Alvin Wingfield, Kylie Ray, Fletcher Wonderlick, Montavious Yerby, Carmine Zolo, Nicholas Zubieta.
Will the graduates please rise? Mr. Gent. I present to you the class of 2019 graduates of Port St. Lucie High School. They await your confirmation. Jaguars, congratulations. I confirm you as graduates. Turn your tassel. <laughs> graduates, remain standing. The Port St. Lucie High School Chorus and Band as they play the alma mater, which is located in your program, and we encourage everyone to sing along. Congratulations once again, class of 2019. Ladies and gentlemen, we ask that you please remain in your place until the dignitaries, faculty, and graduates have completed the recessional. Ladies and gentlemen, this concludes the 2019 graduation ceremony. You may greet your graduates outside.
So my proudest moment as a Jaguar was being on the school's news program for four years. I got to make a lot of people laugh with some of the videos I made, and uh, I also was able to make videos for uh, National History Day, and I won twice in a row, uh, first place. There was no competition at all. I was the best, hands down. My proudest moment would probably be personally becoming senior class president. Uh, it was a great honor being able to provide the utilities needed for the students to get what they need out of their last year of high school. And I would also like to pinpoint homecoming week. That is like a great opportunity for like different students that usually don't partake in events at schools, like everyone to jump in and like, you know, it feels like a family. There's a lot of moments. Um, I have two that come to mind when I think of my proudest moments as a Jaguar. The first um, one was this year, it was our homecoming game, and we hadn't won a homecoming game in 21 years, so it was kind of like, kind of like a given, like you kind of knew, like going up to it, like you had good hopes, but it kind of was something that was a little like, okay, like let's go into it with the best we can, and um, I've been a cheerleader for the past four years, so you see that, you see that loss, and you see how it kind of hurts the players who you love, you know what I mean, so it's rough. But this year we won, um, and I remember the fourth quarter, like the whole quarter, I just bawled my eyes out. I was just so proud to just like look at my team and look at all the people supporting us and just say like, hey, like we did it. This is kind of like our signing off, kind of our last goodbye. And it was really nice to have that moment for our school and for our class. Um, the other one actually was um, the homecoming pep rally this school year. We do a competition for the spirit stick every year and it got to the seniors and I just saw our seniors just be like so invigorated and they just like jumped up and they were, so, I've never heard people holler and scream like they did. It was something that just made me so proud just to come from here and to be a part of the community and it was something that I'll never forget. My proudest moment as a Jaguar would be winning class officer because I'm treasurer and we won with task force, like that was the group we ran with. And when we worked for campaigning, it was one of the best times and I knew together we would do something like great for the school year and we've done many things for it. Well, uh, as you see, my proudest moment, there's many of them. Um, it goes from, I mean, you can make it anything else if you want of it. So I'd have to say, I mean, everything in general, every day is pretty much a proud moment. There's always something going on, a lot of events, pep rallies, football games. You got bath, all the sports events and all that. It's pretty cool. There's a lot. We're a big, kind of a big family. I mean, you may not know each other, but I mean, it's always something to look back. So it's always a proud moment every day. Uh, my proudest moment as a Jaguar was winning the Young Floridian Scholarship. So my proudest moment as a Jaguar would have to be the Manatee Center cleanup that I did with the National Honor Society. And I have two proudest moments, actually. My second proudest moment is my trip that I took to Guatemala through the International Baccalaureate Program. So through a project I did in that program, I was able to go to Guatemala and give back to poorer communities there, and that was really rewarding. Uh, my proudest moment as a Jaguar was being able to partake in the uh, basketball program, helping my team to achieve a winning record. Also, uh, being able to make principals honor roll many times uh, while being able to uh, achieve a scholarship to play basketball at Susquehanna University in Pennsylvania. The best thing about Port St. Lucie High School is just the environment it cultivates and the confidence um, I think it gives you. I think it's a mix from the administration and from the teachers and even the students. I think the support here is what has stood out the most because it's not just support for the jock and the cheerleader, it's the support for the chess player and we have a, like, we have a robotics club. They're amazing, they went to states this year. It's just the support of everyone and um, trying to just cultivate an experience that just serves everyone so they can go out into the world and then serve others. I feel like it's something unlike anything else I've seen. It's been so good to me. I will say that the best thing about this school is the people. I find like most of the students very friendly. Um, yeah, like very friendly and they, they all been very nice to me. Definitely the best thing about Point St. Lucie High School is the teachers and administrations and our principal, Mr. Ocampo. Uh, they really supported every single one of us and they really wanted all of us to succeed. Uh, if I always needed something, they were always there to talk to us and they really just were the best throughout my whole entire school year career. The general uh, environment at Port St. Lucie High School is very comforting. Everybody's friendly. You have great staff on here to help you out. Uh, in you will never feel like 
you don't belong here at Port St. Lucie High School is to really welcome an environment here, and that's what I really love about it. I would say the best thing about Port St. Lucie High School is that everyone here supports each other, and everyone here really wants everyone else to succeed, and also the weather, because it never rains here. What I love about Port St. Lucie High School was the four years that we've been here, majority of us were able to see the change throughout the school year. We were here before the school was painted, we were here before a lot of things happened in the school. Our first year here was when St. Lucie County was the first school to like have laptops for the students. The best thing about Port St. Lucie High School, honestly getting to go here, I mean, this wasn't my first choice. I mean, I had other high schools I was planning on going, but out of every high school out there, I mean, or around the area, I'm glad I chose this one. I love it. There's everyone. You got all your friends, great staff, great teachers. I mean, it's just amazing. It's something you won't forget. The best thing is the unity. Uh, I've been here all four years, and I've done student government all four years. And it was really an opportunity to witness the growth in every student, watch them evolve in their beliefs, the way they think, um, and watch them all achieve things that they wanted, either from passing that exam that, you know, you studied the last second, like class before, finishing that assignment class before, or big things, getting that scholarship, that Pell Grant, um, getting full rise to the universities to study whatever they want to accomplish, because I could see everyone evolving and becoming bigger than life people. Well, first and foremost, I'd like to thank my parents for always supporting me in my education and encouraging me to do the best that I could. Also, I'd like to thank Jonah Hill because throughout his many movie roles, he's inspired me to kind of take risks in my life and do different things. I'd like to thank my parents, my friends, the teachers, school counselors. Without them, I wouldn't be where I am today. The one person I gotta thank is definitely the lunch ladies. They made a lot of great food throughout the years and uh, definitely they deserve the great gratitude for that. I would like to thank um, three teachers, Mr. Parra, Ms. Arendes, and Ms. Miller, because they really helped me to stay motivated during this year, and they helped me to achieve my goals. I'd like to thank my mom. Um, she's amazing. I'd like to thank my dad, um, my stepdad. Both of them really stepped up to the plate and have been so great to me. Um, I'd like to thank just overall, the teachers and staff here, big shout out to Principal Ocampo. Um, did a great job with our school and just really turning it into the place it became. Um, a couple teachers, you gotta thank um, Mrs. Malone, amazing coach. You gotta thank Mr. Georgia, an amazing English teacher. Um, huge shout out to Kendra Ford, uh, my cheer coach and my English teacher and mentor to me for the past couple years. She has been an amazing whirlwind and a force of power and made me proud to be who I am. Um, lastly, just wanna thank uh, my Heavenly Father who gave me all the opportunities just to be here and just to love these people and to do my best to love myself. I would like to thank our faculty, staff, admin, and my family because all these people collectively have been the driving force for all of us, I can say, uh, to accomplish what we want because they harnessed our abilities and you know they make us stars out here. <laughs> Uh, from the principal, the staff, you got faculty, I mean, staff and faculty is that kind of the same thing or whatnot, but uh, just everyone in general, friends help you out, your parents, everyone, so it's all thankful for everything, really. Yeah, I would love to thank uh, many of my teachers that I've had over the, year, over the years, uh, um, administrators, uh, my counselors that have helped me out, um, my coaches that have definitely helped me, all of the people, the general staff here has helped me a great deal yeah, to, become who I've, to become who I am today, yeah, so. So the plans after school are definitely going to be going to IRSC for two years. I had won a scholarship uh, based on the film work that I did, and uh, after that I plan to get a job in the film industry. Um, I'm going to go to FIU and major in political science. I want to be an immigration lawyer when I like fully grow up. but. I'm gonna work throughout school. After graduation, I'm attending the University of Florida in the fall. Go Gators. Yes, I do plan on attending Susquehanna University in Pennsylvania, and um, I received the scholarship to uh, play basketball there too, so that's where I'll be going after high school. Uh, yeah, matter of fact, I do. I'm uh, attending South Carolina Aiken. It's a Division II school, and I'm gonna have a baseball scholarship, so I'll be up there. Uh, after the school year, so looking forward to that. After graduation, I would like to go to college and get a job 
And also I would like to maybe like work in my music, like writing music and yeah, like doing my own thing. I was accepted into Florida International University. Um, my major is going to be political science and my minor is going to be international relations. My goal is to be a human rights lawyer and to work for the United Nations and do cases specific to women's rights and sex trafficking and be an advocate for those people. Personally, my plan is to enroll in UNF, uh, University of North Florida, and I want to major in political science. I want to be a lobbyist, so I want to help support bills that I feel like strongly would help the community out and Florida as a whole to eventually become senator. Vote for me. <laughs> if there was one thing I would say to my parents is I would say thank you. Uh, even though my room isn't clean yet, I will do that uh, after I finish graduating. I would like to thank them because I know that most of the time like we can't be together, but I still know that they're, they're always going to be there. <laughs> I'd like to say thank you. Um, thank you for loving me. Thank you for supporting me, even on the days when I didn't think I could do it. Um, this is for you guys. I do everything to make you guys proud and to change the tone in this family um, and just start a new generation where um, we don't have to work as hard. Just thank you for everything, every opportunity, every moment. It meant the absolute world to me. Thanks, love you guys. I would like to thank my mom and my dad and my brothers, everyone, my godfather, my god family, because everyone ha has had a big role in supporting me and making me the leader that I am on campus and even out of school. Uh, I wouldn't be able to accomplish anything without them. They really have been the driving force and they helped me really learn that I can accomplish whatever I put my heart to, because there's been times where Personally, I would be down, like I didn't do so well on this or that, but they always told me to put my head up and keep moving forward, because that's how life is. And I hope that every student has found at least one person on campus that you know they can turn to in time, time of need and you know that has helped them. Thank you so very much for all your support, and I have nothing but love for you. I would like to thank them for always helping me and supporting for what I do, for all the clubs and all the meetings I attend. They were always supporting throughout anything. Uh, to my parents, um, you know, there's so much they've done for me. Um, I'm just going to try to keep it short and sweet. You know, every day they tell me they want the best for me, this, this, and that, and um, I can't thank them enough for everything they do. They support me, they love me, they all, they just, any, any way they could help, they are always there for me. And I'm just really thankful for them. So, I mean, it'd be totally different without them, but I'm glad I have them by my side, so. Well, definitely, I would love to thank my mom for everything that she's done, for working hard to support me and giving me the love and the encouragement that I need, that I needed to uh, do good in high school and proceed to college after.